I'm Kali Flavel. I ran away to Italy for the food, the romance, the people. It's not hard to fall in love with it all, but you might need a little help to find those truly authentic Italian experiences. Come with me and I'll show you my favorite places to go, things to do, and food to eat. When in Florence. Salvatore Ferragamo is a Florentine label adored all over the world. The craftsman Salvatore himself began his workshop here in Florence back in 1927. Museums here are not just for paintings and sculptures. Naturally, shoes are considered works of art as well. So I'm heading to the magical Salvatore Ferragamo Museum, right in the historic center of Florence, where the exhibition celebrates fairy tales, Hollywood divas, and the history of one man's passion for shoes. I meet with the director of the museum, Dottoressa Stefania Ricci. It, it makes me emotional, this, this museum. It's not like a normal museum, no? I don't think that it's a normal museum, no. because the story of Salvatore Ferragamo is a wonderful story. Yeah, this ceiling is, is incredible, this, this palazzo. The building uh, was built uh, in the medieval age, yeah. and Ferragamo bought the palazzo in 1938. So who was seduced by Ferragamo's shoes? Audrey Hepburn, yes. Greta Garbo, Gloria Swanson, and of course, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn selected always Ferragamo's shoes. Ferragamo began as a poor cobbler, but ended up making shoes for the most beautiful women in the world. And after you've immersed yourself in all of this beauty, you can step outside into the very streets of Florence that inspired him. Stessa Under Productions.